I agree. I agree. I think he just got a little overzealous with that, looking for some highlight stuff. And in the process, he let Blake Perry shake off the damage. Yeah, he did. And Perry lands an elbow on the game. Perry, Perry's got that. That right elbow is, is money. He's landed it multiple times already in the first round. If Marcel makes it out of this round, uh, his corner is going to have to do some work on making sure that he doesn't get clipped with that because he's getting hit multiple times and it's splitting him open. And you have to wonder too, Chad, should Marcel McCain make it out of round number one? How much of an adrenaline dump is Blake Perry going to have yeah. with this full-blown action that he's been throwing at McCain since the beginning of the round? Yeah, man, he is definitely running a sprint. And uh, Yes. Nice left hand from Marcel McCain. Uh, you know, I'm looking at uh, Perry's leg. It's wearing some damage, man. And, and you were saying earlier that as McCain was throwing those outside leg kicks, he was eating shots. And he I was. agree, but he was also doing tremendous damage to that thigh of Blake Perry. And you know what? How do you take the power out of a guy's hand? You take out well, his leg. Well, you take his leg, and Marcel is actually turning around. And, and now Perry's he's in some, trouble right now. Perry's eating some heavy knees right now. What a fight. Oh! A1 combat delivering Ten again. McCain with a takedown. He's going to finish it half Nelson. Working from the side. Perry goes to his stomach. Not a lot of time to work. The bell will ring. What a fight, what? Chad Shepard. Oh, my gosh. What a first round. Both guys are a bloody mess. Yeah, but yeah, this is... Uh, I think most of that blood is coming from Marcel McCain. I actually He's believe Blake Perry has a broken nose. In fact, I know he does. His nose is completely crooked right now. He has a, an absolutely broken nose. Dr. Jellin will come in and take a look at it. That might be enough. If it's flat, that might be enough. Yeah, this, this oh, might yeah. be over. That might be it. That, yeah, they, they're going to call it. That nose is crooked. And I'll tell it's you done. what. Look at that. Had wow. that happened earlier in the first round, I would have said, hey, Perry could have won this fight, and this might have cost him the fight. However, McCain came back at the end of that round and was putting the pressure on Perry. Dr. Jellin's taking a close look at that, along with Ed What are they going to do? And our cut woman, Carol Saracusa. I mean, it's, it's bent. It's severely bent. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to let it go. That is, woo! It's going to come woo! Down. Look at that. Look at that. They're going to let it go. And they are going to let I it go. I love it. I love it. I look love at that. It. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. That's fantastic. This is A1 combat, guys. Blake Perry is uh, a savage. Marcel is looking really gassed, guys. Yeah, Marcel looks tired. Blake Perry has a broken nose. Okay, they're going to bring the doctor in now. Yep, yep. Oh, there's a, a lot of water on the floor over there in uh, Blake Perry's corner. So they're trying to get a wipe down over there in the corner. Right okay, now. okay. So let's recap. Oh, they have a towel. Okay. So let's recap round number one. Blake Perry came out, foot on the gas, poured the pressure onto Marcel McCain, cut him open in two places, was really dominating the round. Marcel McCain weathered that storm, came back, landed several big shots of his own, including a left hand that put Blake Perry down, and then he was able to achieve a takedown at the end of the round and get side control. And man, I can't, I can't stop looking at the nose. I know, bro. Or, I know. Like, uh, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, Blake Perry doesn't care. Breathing. He doesn't care. I don't, know, I don't know how he's breathing out of that thing. But yeah. Well, I, you uh, can see the big, heavy breaths coming out of his mouth as the shoulders come up and down. So, I apologize, guys. I'm, my voice is. Doing some crazy things here tonight, but Blake Ooh Perry. Ooh let's see who's let's see who's able to recover the quickest, man. Welcome to A1 Combat, guys. Fight number three, welterweight division, and now I guess they're now they're calling the doctor in. Oh my God, Doctor Jones gonna look at the nose. Every, I, I, don't, at him, I don't think Perry is like begging. I don't think they're gonna let him fight, Jack. I don't know that they will either, but I think we were dreaming. No, they're gonna leave it off. It's over. Perry pleading his case in the corner. Wow. And I'll tell you what, that they teased the crowd because it made it look like they were going to let him yeah. fight. And I'm looking at Max Payne Griffin in guys, the front bro. row over there. I love the respect that these guys are giving each other, man. This is why I love this sport. It's when these guys do this and they beat the, you know, the tar out of each other, and then they show each other just mad love. It, it's my favorite thing about this sport. This when was I a well-matched fight, Chad. Chef. Thank you, brother. Good job putting these two together. I say we run that one I would run it back. Blake gets his nose fixed. We run this back because that was a competitive, that was a competitive fight. So to clarify at home, guys, they started the fight. They have to do it this way. It's this way in boxing. It's this way in MMA. They will start the round. Referee Ed Kalantis called timeout. They brought the ringside position up. He took a closer look at Blake Perry. His nose, obviously, you can tell at home, is broken badly. 
and they are going to say that Blake 